total Raider domination. Let's go. Stay tuned after the intro. When you have great coaches, then after you have great coaches, you get great players. You have a great organization, and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. This is Raiders Allegiance with Lunatic Raider. Welcome to the dark side. What is the deal, Raider Nation? Welcome to Raiders Allegiance with yours truly, Lunatic Raider. Today, the Raiders pluck some feathers out of the damn Eagles. Final score, 33-22. to The team played marvelous on both sides of the ball. Offense and defense, they stepped up. They showed up and they showed out. I like to salute Rich Biasha, interim head coach. He has these boys playing at a high level. They're loving the game. They're playing together. It's beautiful to see all this come together. I hope that they can get the interim title off of him and just give him the head po um, coaching pos uh, position because overall, he has this team playing. I salute the head coach, man, for keeping this unit together after the, the little turbulence we had a couple of weeks ago. But all in all, all that's under the rug now. This team is playing at a high level. Defense front four is putting pressure on quarterbacks. Hurts was on the run. He, he started out good in the beginning of the game. Hurts did on that first drive when they scored a touchdown. But after that, Raiders got the ball. It seemed like every drive the Raiders had ended in a score. If it wasn't for... Um, a mishap with Carr throwing, and we were in the red zone, going off, I think, uh, Jalen Rashard's hand and end up being a reflected uh, interception. Without that, there would have been no blemishes on this whole game, all in all, period. Carr played out of his mind, the best game he had so far this year or in his career, period. So, hats to Derek Carr, hats to everybody on the team playing hard. Um... Man, Ngakwe had a hell of a game. Max Crosby added some pressures in there. Uh, Thomas threw in some pressure. I mean, everybody was playing, man. They played together as a team. They won together as a team. Now we're 2-0. We're 5-2. Next week, we go into the bye for Halloween. Then we come out the bye. We go on the road to the New York Giants. Then after the Giants, we're back at home. Sunday night football, November 14th, Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs took an ass whooping today, so that's their fourth loss. Um, Baltimore took an ass whooping, so now they're at five and two with their loss coming to us also, one of their losses. So we have that tiebreaker if it comes down to wild cards and have to go off against other um, AFC teams that's not divisional leaders in their um, division, but in conference, one of the wild cards projection. But um, man. I salute the Raiders, man. They, they play with heart. They play with aggression. They play like assholes. Like I said in the last video, they have to play in assholes. Carr got to, this will be the perfect game for him to dink and dunk, hit the middle of the field. That's what he did. I think he had 324 yards. And we'll go over the stats in a minute because my player of the game is Derek Carr. Matter of fact, let's head on over there and um, let's hit this player of the game up, man. Today's player of the game, as you see, is Mr. Derek Carr. His stats speaks for themselves. This guy right here is playing out of his mind. You know what I mean? This, this dude is playing out of his mind. One of his best games of his career. Matter of fact, the best game. Look at the passer rating. Look at everything that he's doing. Completions. 31 completions. The man had, what, 113 um passer rating. Uh, two touchdowns, one interception. Carr... Player of the game, hands down. Man, Raider Nation, how you feeling? Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you feel. Tell me if there's anything in the game that we need to improve on to even become more better, even to become more elite. Because right now our offense is real elite, man. I don't think we can... These next games through the season, I don't see it scoring less than 30. 30 is easy, it seems like. These guys got weapons, man. They're playing. The, the formations, the play calling is simplified. They're doing what they do good, and they're executing it. So um, with that being said, player of the game, Derek Carr, man, hats off, bro. You're playing your ass off, man, and, and it's getting us victories. Appreciate that one, man. Now, with that being said, man, man, I look forward to us going into the bye 
getting healthy. Um, we can get Darren Waller didn't even play. So now we can allow him to get healthy with his ankle. Um, I seen Josh Jacobs go out for a minute with a little, you know, nick and bump and grind or whatever the hell he had wrong with him. I, I, I don't know. I have to look it up and see. Hopefully there's nothing serious. But now all the naysayers who talk down about the Raiders signing Kenyon Drake for the money they gave him. Oh, why are you getting another backup? We already got Josh Jacobs. We have to keep Josh Jacobs fresh. We have to keep him healthy. At the running back position, I think the lifespan of a running back in the NFL is only four years. They take so much abuse and physicality in, in the game because they have to run heads up against 300 pound linemen. Then you got 250 pound linebackers making tackles. They're going through it, man. So all in all, it's good to have a backup quarterback that's just as good as your, your starter. Plain and simple. Both of them had touchdowns today. Josh Jacobs and Kenyon Drake. Hats off to the running game. They did their thing. Man, Carr did his thing. Offensive line held up, man. They're, they're, man, they're improving. But now I look forward in going into the bye, getting healthy, going after six and two in New York, and then seven and two at home against Kansas City Chiefs on that Sunday night, November 14th. So with that being said, I'm Lunatic Raider. This is Raider Allegiance. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.